Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video and today we're going to be doing an unboxing. Something a little bit different to my usual unboxings, it's not a K-pop album or some K-pop merch. Well, I guess it is in some way. You know what it is already, you've clicked on the video. It is the Neo Gen Dreamcatcher Body Mist Perfumes. So, I know what you're thinking, mate, you're a, you're a bloke, what are you, what are you doing with this? I know, I know, I kind of debated myself when these were getting released, it's like, do I need these? I want to support the girls and get behind them so they might be able to do another collab or maybe another company sees that the sales are well. And part of me wanted to know, like, the girls the girls pick, pick these scents and help make them themselves. So I kind of thought, well, if this is the, if these are the scents that the girls like, part of me wonders, like, oh, I won't mind knowing that. Um, so I got these from the Neogen Lab website. They're still available. I've got them. I've got it pulled up to the side for information purposes, just just in case. So I got the Body Mist perfume set, and there's also a hand cream set. So you can get the set with all the scents, but you can also buy each thing individually. Uh, so I got these a couple of months months ago now. I think it was maybe. September something like that that these got got released so um, yeah so I got the the full pack set uh, thankfully the box box is nice it's a little thin I didn't know what to expect uh, the box it came in um, unfortunately uh, the the post guy who uh, who delivered it must have been having a bad day because he kicked the absolute living shit out of it when I got the box because I had to go pick it up the post office and I saw the guy bringing the box to me I even said to him well that doesn't look good and he just goes oh well that's just how they come sometimes like like fuck it why not you know it's broke who cares so thankfully there was a there was a nice bit of wrapping around it so this little presentation box looks okay I can hear them rattling around inside. So the box is this. So let's just open it up and see what we get. I'll have the website there just in case it's all in Korean. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? That it doesn't say anything on the back. So I'll uh, try my best not to rip anything. I quite like to keep this box. I don't know if it'll fit on my shelves. I might have to put this somewhere else. So okay. I was kind of when I, when I first got it out of the, the packaging, I thought it was going to be a box that I'd flip open and it'd be like a presentation box, but it doesn't. It either opens at this end with this label or at this bottom end with a seller tape. And I thought I quite like to keep that seal, so I've opened it from technically the bottom, uh, and there they are. All right, um, let's just let's just go individually through them all and just go through one at a time. I'll just pick one out. Here, so we've got Moonlight Musk. I don't know if you can see that, there might be a bit of a shine from my ring light. But it's nice. Whose is this? Ah, so I've just done, I'm just opening that up on the on website. It's Shion's. So let's see. It is this is, uh, scent is musk. Essential oil is thyme. Dreamcatcher is Shion's pick. A scent that reminds you of a peaceful moonlight that. Uh, suitably spreads under the night sky okay so let's just uh i can't smell anything from just opening it up so i'm just going to spray a little bit in here and see get a few pumps in because uh, i think uh, i think the little thing's dry come on there we go oh that's fresh very like a fresh soap, like cottony. It's definitely refreshing. Like if you spray that on yourself, it would feel like a refreshing smell. I like it. I wasn't. I was planning on maybe just spraying it in the air and getting it, but I thought there's a lot of scent here. <laughs> They'll start to overpower each other. So I thought just a little bit inside the cap. I like it. It's nice and fresh. It's something that if if you got like a a body moisturizer or like a, a cream well like a hand like the hand cream's probably nice definitely not a masculine smell i like it though that's very fresh that's very fresh so that's moonlight musk who is next I'm, i should have gone back on the website i'll go back while i get this one this is love rose so as you can see from the fronts 
each one has its own sort of dream catcher design it doesn't say on the front who the girl is and it doesn't say on the back who it is so unless you know it off by heart uh, or if you buy one individually you'll know but i'm gonna have to use this website quite a lot today so yeah two quite nice little designs on these on the website if you buy them individually i think they come in a really nice if you just hover over them and see they come in a really nice little decorative sleeve each one it's a shame that within this box each one's not within its own little casing as well so this is love rose who are you do, 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 do. love rose is hand -ons. so it's pink so are we gonna get a rose scent we are so this is perfumed body mist with premium rich fragrance and 100 percent natural moroccan rose essential oil blend nice so the scent is floral so the last one was musk i don't really know what musk is supposed to smell like but this one is rose hondong's pick premium rich yeah i could go with that for hondong so let's see how many squirts this one takes two Ooh. they're very delicate smells they're not overpowering that some might be but these first two very delicate and, and a nice sort of well, because it is a delicate hint of rose. You'd have to be very up close to the person to get a, a scent of this, because it's more of a mist for the person wearing it than others around. Unless you're supposed to... How are you supposed to wear these? Is it supposed to be like normal perfume, where it's a couple of poofs here and there? I like it, though. Very nice and delicate. It reminds me of something that I might use to, like, fragrance your clothing. You know, like some um, conditioner or something that you put in the washing machine to get you know your clothes smelling nice and fresh i like it though very very soft and delicate premium rich hmm i like it so that was rose love next up is this blue one and that almost fell off the table this is freedom iris so again got a nice little design who are you let's find it Freedom Iris, Yohyuns. So, it's blue, so what, I can't deduce anything. The rose one was slightly pink. So this is perfumed, oh wait, no, I opened the wrong one. I opened hand cream. Silly me, silly boy. Freedom Iris, Freedom Iris. I like that name. Iris just reminds me of a girl who's on Soundcare, Iris, Iris Huang. Uh, this is perfumed body mist with premium rich fragrance and 100% natural American sandalwood essential oils. Another floral scent. Sandalwood. Hmm, this might be refreshing. Let's see. You can't smell anything by just... Sometimes with some fragrances you can pick up and smell something, but so far nothing. Ooh, I like this one, this one. This, this smells like something you might... I don't know, the, the first... I felt, I felt like I was on a beach for like a moment. It's got that sort of... Maybe not a beach. Maybe like a fresh field. It's something, I don't know what, it's something like outdoors. It feels very summery and fresh. Hmm. Hmm. I wouldn't mind if there was any other descriptive words for what that is. But if that's what sandalwood's supposed to be, I like it. I think I could get away with this one. Like, it's not too flowery, even though it says it's floral. Hmm. I might, I might use this one myself. I like it. So, it's a lot more, it hits you a lot more than the other two. The other, well, the rose one was very delicate and soft, which rose is, really. Whereas, Shion's... Yeah, she, so on the, on the sort of, the, out of these three, the uh, Love Rose is very subtle, the musk is slightly higher, whereas this one, I think if someone walked past you wearing this, you might pick this up a lot more. Next up, we have this yellow one while I press back on the website. This is Self... Oh my God. I think that's how you say it. Yellow one. So I'm think when I, when I see the colours, I'm trying to instantly think of like what it might be. And this, this feels like it might be citrusy or lemony. But again, and this one is Dammy's. Perfume body mist with premium rich fragrance and 100% natural American Bermagot essential oil. A fruity flavour. So, 
flavour. Like I'm going to drink it. Might do. Time to get desperate. So it's a fruity scent with bermuda oil. Let's Google what the hell that means. Go on. While I, while I do that. Bermagot. Oh, right. Bermagot is a plant that produces a type of citrus fruit. Oil from the peel of the fruit and extract from the fruit juice are used to make medicine. Learn something new every day. So let's see how fruity this is. Again, nothing, nothing from the pot. So. Hmm. Yes, it is citrusy. But it's not like a very soft lemon. All of these so far have been really nice scents. If any girl was to wear any of these, I'd like it. Like the, the very nice, soft and delicate. Some perfumes can be a bit overpowering, especially if you're, if you're getting close, then sometimes they do get a bit overpowering, but these are really nice and delicate. That's nice. Hmm. It's very, I think it's, it's definitely a, a soft lemony, not orangey or like lime. I like it though. They've all got like a slight soapiness to them, but I think that's just the oil itself. So everything's sort of got an undelay of a, a little bit of soapiness. So you get the first hit of the fragrance and then like a bit of a after, after scent of soap. But I like it. I like it. There's not a bad one so far at all. So we've got three left. Oh, and I've got some cards in the box. We'll save them to the end. We have, what is this? Motion Suede. Hmm, who is this? Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Motion Suede is uh, Sue Ah. Let's see, what would Sue be? Hmm, floral one. So, uh, perfume body mist with premium rich fragrance, 100% American orange essential oil blend. Pure but essential motion suede scent floral. Hmm. Essential oil is orange oil. Again, nothing from this. No, no, it's just my fingers. <laughs> Ooh. This is definitely more floral. This is more floral than the rose one. The rose was very delicate. This is like if you were to walk through a greenhouse with lots of different flowers around. Like as soon as you walk in, you get that flowery scent. You can't just pick out one flower. Like I guess some people might know what a rose, like a red rose or a rose smells like, but this definitely has a floral scent. Again, delicate. They're all very delicate. Maybe the hand creams might have more to them, but I like how delicate they are. Yeah, this, this this makes me feel like when I used to walk through, there's there's a place near me that's got a very big greenhouse with lots of flowers in, and I'd used to visit it quite a lot with my grand with one of my granddads. He was really into his gardening, and that just it's, it just takes me back to that walking through a greenhouse, just like in the height of summer, everything's bloomed. You just walk in, you can just smell fresh flowers. You'd like that one, granddad. If he was still here. Uh, next up, we have we've got two more left. This one, another another pinky one, but it's not quite as pink. Well, it's probably a bit more pink. This is probably more pale. This is a bit brighter pink. And get this this feels like Guyon. <laughs> this is Passion Norelli. Again, they've all got their own individual uh, packaging. So, oh no, this is Chews. Ah. I see pink and I think the girly cute one, but then I should think pink, pink princess, Gio. Um, so this one is a scent full of vitality and lively energy, Passion Norelli. What is that? is that? Is that an Italian word? It feels Italian. What does Norelli Isle smell like? Orange blossom, so it's a flower. Citrus, hmm, you lied to me then Google. Citrus. Uh, essential oil is pitigarian oil. Who knows what that is? But let's see. Nothing. Nothing's over. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Citrus. I was just thinking, like, is it as citrusy as. I think it was this one. This one. But it's not as. 
definitely, yeah, it's definitely more citrusy than it is floral. It feels a bit more like uh, you get a bit more of a hit than you would the flower. It's very nice. Mm, I'd say not, not lemony like the last one was. Very sweet. I think it, yeah, it, it fits the colour. Like, if you smell it and you were to pick a colour, you'd probably pick this. I don't know if that makes any sense. Like the musk for Shion's, that blue would go. I'd probably go like a blue or a grey. So I think colour-wise, they've picked the, the, little, the little tubs really well. I like it. It's nice and soft. It reminds me of another scent, but I can't, I can't pin it on something. It, it smells like a cream that my mum has. That, like a, an actual hand cream that she has. So I feel like I've smelt this one before. Very soft, all super, super delicate. Last but not least, I guess, is the baby. And this is uh, Daydream Sweetie. The, the N looked like, uh, the Y looked like an N, so I almost said Dandream, but it's Daydream. It's just the way that the font is. Daydream Sweetie, so. That name fits a baby guy on very well. Where are we? Uh, let's see what this one describes itself as. Uh, Daydream Sweetie is a, uh, with sweet charm, as if having a good dream on a summer night. Fruity, that's orange essential oils. Hmm, I like the description of that. Let's see. very soft again kind of reminds me of the Xion one but like a little bit more yeah yeah this one feels a bit more of a masculine musky scent like I'm saying musk like I know where it is now whereas this feels this feels like the female counterpart to the uh, to Xion's if you were to get like get them and line up yourself you, you might be able to get this I can't I can't unfortunately show you guys but it's a very sweet musky flavour. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't necessarily say fruity. I'm not getting, mm, maybe a slight hint. I'm getting more of a, more of a flowery scent, but it's very similar to Xion's. It feels like the female counterpart, like a little bit more richer, a little bit more sweeter. So I guess the fruitiness is there, but I like it. I might, that's another one I might be able to get away with wearing myself. I like it. Nice. And last but not least, in the package itself, are some cards. So, well, there she is. We've got Guy on. We've uh, Catch Your Daydream on the back and a little picture of the what's on the set on the bottle. Her little her little dream catcher design. And then next up, we got Yohyun. And on the back still says, oh, says Catch Your Freedom this time with her Dreamcatcher. There's also some Korean on there, which I presume is the description of her scent. Doesn't help me and my girl, Xion. And it says Catch Your Moonlight on the back with her little Dreamcatcher design. So, I like these. There's not one scent that I do not like. My plan for these is when I do a dream catch video, I'm just going to spray one around. So when I'm doing the video, I've got the scent of one of the girls. And now I know what the girls smell like. If I'm ever in Korea one day, walking down the street, I've got some headphones on, just doing a bit of touristy stuff. And someone walks past me and I'm like, that, sm that smells like musk. That smells like moonlight musk. And I just turn around and she on? She turns around, our eyes meet. And that, kids, is how I met your mother. Or more likely, she'll be like, huh, 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 glitch out and walk away. Probably didn't recognise that I even said a word. I like them. I like them. Very nice. There's a couple of these I could probably get away with wearing myself. I don't know what the difference between a body mist and a perfume. Like, for me, like an aftershave, like something you spray on. Is it the same thing? It's just that's the sort of female way of saying an aftershave or a perfume. Because it says perfume body mist, but is it supposed? Is it something you put on after the shower? I'm not up on these uh, things that you're supposed to do to keep yourself looking fresh and I just look this good all the time. That's 
unfortunate how I was born. Um, so I, I do use aftershave now and again, but very, very sparingly. Say, so the last time I wore it was, wear it on Christmas, family meals out, and if I'm going out, like doing something out, like going on a date on one of those rare occasions is an actual girl living up to my standards in this country i'll wear one then and sometimes for work if we're having a, a, a you know some sort of productive meeting and there's gonna be more people there i'll put one on just to i don't know be more presentable it just feels like that rather than an everyday thing but some of these are really nice that i feel like i could get away with without someone thinking like oh that might be a bit of a feminine smell or a bit sweet there's a couple that i think i could get away with but for now, I'm just going to probably, I might just try and stack these on my shelf in some way or maybe put them in the box and just now and again take them out and before I do a video, I might, you, you might guys, you guys might even see me, I might tell you what today's scent is. Actually, I'll do that. I'll tell you what each video's scent is and do a little spray. So for the rest of the video, we'll have a scent. And uh, if you guys have got them, you can do it yourself and then we're almost together. It almost feels like you're here with me watching along. But... I like these. Are they a pointless purchase for someone like me? Yes, they are. Could I have spent that $80 plus shipping on something else? Oh, most certainly I could have. But am I glad I got them? Yes, because it's supporting the girls and I like the fact that the girls in the behind the scenes video that we saw, I don't think I did a video on it. I might have done. Um, they picked these scents so they have an idea of who they are, what scents they like, or maybe want to experiment with and made these scents. And I like that because then we get a little bit of a hint of what each girl is. So maybe they might wear these. And if I am ever in Korea, walking down the street, what's that, what's that? Oh, ooh, I know that, I know that person because I'll, by then I'll have maybe gone through the bottle, spraying it. After all these many years of doing videos on them, but I enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts below. Did you buy any of these? Did you get the hand cream? If so, are the nice creams? I don't, I'm not a creamy person, so I wouldn't, I probably, I'm getting old now. I probably should start using hand creams. It seems to be something people do when they get to a certain age. Um, or did you buy anything individually? I think if I was gonna go and buy just one scent, let me just quickly have a, if I was to pick one and say, this is the one I'm gonna buy and keep and use forever like I'm, I'm only allowed to use one scent forever and it's something I I can get away with as a as a muscular manly man oh, I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards Shion's as soon as I smelt that one it feels like a scent like a my scent I could get away with there's two there's definitely two is it this one So, my two picks, I know I said one, but shush, it's my video. Uh, I'm going to go with, because they feel like the counterparts of each other, Daydream Sweetie or Moonlight Musk. Those are the ones I feel like I could get away with. And if someone said, you're only allowed to have one scent for the rest of your life, I'll pick Shion's. <laughs> because it's the, the manly version of, uh, of Guyon's. But that's what I'm going to go with. So, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff for the algorithms. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.